Well, more from the Junior Chamber of Commerce uh, event and the, the star billing is Steve Christian today, hot foot off the plane, living the international life between uh, Pinewood and the Isle of Man. Or, do you actually, Steve, do you, do you get much back here these days or are you, are you based over there nowadays? No, I'm here most of the time. Yeah. It's, uh, I'm in London maybe, depends, two or three days a week. Just uh, just depends what's happening, really. But, it's, you know, it's hardly the international jet set. It's, <laughs> uh, you know, it's Catwick South Terminal. <laughs> I mean... The Old Man's now celebrating such a hundred films, and mm. I think you've been involved in probably them all, haven't you? The yeah. Eras? Yeah, all uh, yeah, all of them, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, 103. Things have changed. Things have been redesigned a few times over the sort of life of this whole thing. Of course. And obviously quite a big change when we moved into the Pinewood Shepton deal. Um, I mean, you're on, the, you're on the cold face, I suppose. So what's it been like? It's been fantastic. It's... Um you know, it's the you can see the evidence of what's happened. It's, we had the whole debate uh, last June, June 2012, and since then I think we've had six or seven productions uh, come to the Isle of Man. Um, and I you know, emphasise come to the Isle of Man rather than um, gone to Pinewood. Um, and you can see the activity. You can see what's happened um, from Bell, which was you know one of the big films that we did at the back end of last year, right up to today. We're shooting our robot overlords, mm -hmm. uh, so Ben Kingsley and Gillian Anderson and a, a young cast. Um, you know all the toys out, um, proper film. And then there's been you know quite a few in between from Camera Trap, which is quite innovative and quite groundbreaking. Um, you know, a little film there, for example, that wouldn't happen without Pinewood making the investment in the sound post-production um, to give the film the, the real, the, the feel that we wanted to give it. Um, and I just think generally everything's more buoyant. I think people now believe what, you know, perhaps they consider to be the spin. Mm -hmm. um, you know, was it a last desperate move to, to make this Pinewood move or was it something that was... You know, an opportunity that we shouldn't have that we shouldn't have refused, and it's you know it's early days, and I don't want to make any great claims to, you know, how it's gonna how it's gonna pan out, but on the evidence so far, I think we've got you know I think we've got every right to be, you know, quietly confident that we're moving in the right direction. So I mean, those films you just mentioned there, would those potentially not have come to the island then without that deal? It's not just that they wouldn't have come to the island, Paul. They wouldn't actually have got made. It's oh. um, there's a. There's a whole sort of change taking place in the world film industry, and that's the studios, on the one hand, are creating these big blockbusters, the tent poles, that we call them. Um, and on the other hand, you're getting a, a proliferation of platforms, so the Netflix, the Love Film, the Hulu, all of these platforms which are allowing the opportunity to show your film in a very different way. And there's becoming a, a massive thirst um, for, for filmed entertainment. The, the thirst for filmed entertainment around the world is growing dramatically. And the studios aren't filling that demand. Uh, what they're doing instead is looking to the likes of Pinewood to fill that demand for them. Um, but first, you've got to find the formula, the financing formula, that allows you to make those films in the first place. Um, and by putting the Isle of Man's offering together with the Pinewood <coughs> offering, we've, I think we've gone some way to finding that formula. Okay. Now, you, you're a director now of this thing, so you sit around this big boardroom and this you... This thing, Pinewood Shepherdton PLC is not a thing. <laughs> Do you thump the table for the Isle of Man? Is that your job in this whole thing? I, you know, I've, I thump the table for the British independent film industry, really. Um, you know, and a byproduct of that is the activity that you see on the Isle of Man, because, of course, you know, Pinewood is also appointed to manage the Media Development Fund, so it has that source of finance which you can bring to the table. Um, so there's not much uh, table thumping goes on. Um, there's not too much uh, convincing ever needed that uh, something should come to the Isle of Man um, or that we should make a, a joint investment. It's, um, it's all very civilised. Um, and people can see, you know, the, you know, the guys at Pinewood and the guys in the Isle of Man can see that one and one is making three. Um, whereas before, you know, we, we really struggled to make an impact. Last time I saw you on the set of Bell, I think it was, you were pretty jaded, you were pretty fed up with all the uh, hoo-ha that's going on. You're sounding quite positive today. Do I take it things are have turned a corner? Yeah, who knows? It's um, you know you, we've had a we've had a quiet few months. Um, you know the uh, the criticism has died down. The results are speaking for themselves. Um, you know, jaded maybe. I mean, it was, it took you know it was one thing where you can identify a strategy. So in this case, it was to buy a stake in Pinewood. Um, you know, it takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of time and of course a lot of hassle. 
to then fashion that opportunity into reality. And you know, if you get a little bit jaded and if you get a little bit tetchy sometimes, well, you know, that's because you know it demands a great deal of dedication and hard work and enthusiasm from not just from me but from everybody around me. Um, and yeah, I mean, at the moment, I, you know, I would say we've you know we've we've got reasons to be cheerful. But I think it's a lot of times people here still didn't quite understand it all. Do you th with, with a bit of hindsight, do you think it'd been more helpful to give people more information about what was going on? People always get a bit wary when they don't seem to understand what it's it's about. Do you know? Do do the general public really want to understand what's going on? Um, I think what they want to see is results, and they want to see benefits, and they want to see activity. Uh, and if they can understand that we're making investments that is bringing you know the results and the benefits and the activity to the Isle of Man then I think you know, that generally they're happier. It, do you want me to go out and explain the intricacies of film financing to the general population? I don't think they do. I understand um, that. I mean, you know, they, fact, certainly, you know, they certainly don't want to listen to that. It's like the Waking Ned thing, which was such, at that time, we, everyone couldn't be, they're on the phone telling all their relatives, if they came over, this is what's being filmed here. Mm. That's what the Isle of Man, of course, like anyway, they want that, that big film again that says this was made in the Isle of Man, don't they? You know, in 2011, um, you know, from April the 10th, I think it was, or April the 20th or something, you know, for three solid months, every seat in this cinema was filled for every single screening for three months, uh, a cinema record, people watching a film made on the Isle of Man, about the Isle of Man, for the Isle of Man, creating benefits for the Isle of Man that could not have been filmed anywhere else. Closer to the edge, you talk about. Closer that. to the edge. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's the it's the biggest success story we've ever had, and and, uh, and, it, and it keeps yeah. working. Look at the numbers. You know, look at the TT visitor numbers for yeah. for 2011, for for 2012 and 2013. It's no coincidence. No. It's um, they come because of that activity. And I'll be the first to hold my hand up, saying I thought, oh gosh, I film about the TT. I'm not going to particularly like this. And then it worked on levels that you you might obviously there's a bit of luck in there, but this story was so fantastic that time, and yeah. the filming, the production, everything about it just hit the mark, and it has done extremely well, admittedly. So yeah. we were right to be sceptical. I mean, I had three mm. golden rules, you know, when we came into this whole film thing, which was, you know, no TT, no TT, no TT. <laughs> yeah, um, say that. <laughs> and now look, um, you know, we're looking for the next TT. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, who knows? You know, in this, in this business, uh, in this world right now, nobody really knows anything about anything. Okay. Um, you just got to get out there. You've got to, you know, you've got to work hard. You've got to show some passion. You've got to show, uh, show some enthusiasm. And you've got to go and get the job done. You know, I hate it when people say, you know, we're all in this together. We're not. Um, get out there and do something about it. We're trying. We're seeing some results. And hopefully people, you know, are going to start believing that the, you know, the spin was more than spin. Finally, will we be chatting at the 200th film? Uh, maybe not to me, but I hope you'll be sitting talking what about that, the 200th what film. What does that mean? It's taken 15 years to, to make the first hundred. Okay. You know, I'll be I'll be 50 by are then. You, are I'll, you I'll, happy be, I'll be 50 by then. Are you a happy bunny <laughs> these days then? Uh, well, yeah, we have reasons to be cheerful.